Hello everybody and welcome to my very quick guide to Titalos in which I will show you how to not die. Because Titalos, on top of being the final guardian raid boss of tier 1 also has an instant kill mechanic that will, well as the name would suggest, instantly kill you if you don't deal with it properly. The boss itself is actually not all that hard, his attacks are very easy to avoid and I would actually consider him one of the easier raid bosses if you know how to deal with this wipe mechanic. Speaking of which, throughout the fight the boss will periodically stand on its hind legs, then slam back into the ground, start charging and unleash a massive AoE that will one-shot you no matter how far away you run from him. Now there are two ways to deal with this, the proper way and the cheeky way. The cheeky way, which is also the much easier way to deal with this, is to actually fight the boss near one of the climbing spots and simply climb up or down when the explosion goes off. This, I would ever guess, however, is a very unintended way of dealing with this mechanic, so just in case it gets changed or completely removed, I will teach you how to do this properly as well. Now, this all has to do with the two swirly boys that the boss will spawn at the start of the fight. These will slowly chase you around and do a little bit of damage when you step into them, as well as apply a soloing debuff. This debuff is crucial to surviving the boss's one-shot mechanic, because if you get 3 stacks of it on you, you become invulnerable for 5 seconds, allowing you to essentially iframe the boss's one-shot. There is a bit of a problem with this though, because once the invulnerability ends, you get a different debuff that prevents you from getting those slowing stacks for 30 seconds. So you need to make sure to not accidentally turn yourself into stone and then not be able to do so for 30 seconds in which the boss might just one-shot you. Luckily though, this debuff can be cleansed so you can either deal with it that way or if push comes to shove you can simply move the boss to one of the climbing spots and essentially deal with it the cheeky way by climbing up and down as the explosion goes out. Though it is of course much better to not have to deal with this on top of all the other boss mechanics so try to avoid the rotating sand pits if at all possible when you don't need them to provide you with the invulnerability to survive the boss's one shot. And the final bit of information I want to give you is that you can actually tell that the boss is about to do this big explosion prior to him charging it. And it's via this attack right here where the boss will essentially thunderclap the ground three times in a row. Whenever he does this you have about two or three boss moves left before he starts charging up the big explosion. So whenever you see him do this thunderclap attack, be on high alert and make sure you're somewhere near the sand pits to get the invulnerability for the big explosion. And that is pretty much it for the title's boss. It is, as I've said already, in my opinion, one of the easier bosses that you can fight. You just need to get this invulnerability mechanic down so you don't get one shot. And that is it for the video. So I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.